The ACHR News visited Flame Furnace in Warren, Michigan to find out how an HVAC contractor trains its technicians to troubleshoot furnace and AC units. So these boards that we had made, they're to simulate uh, both furnace and air conditioning. So we've got relays, uh, we've got a thermostat, we've got a power source. So thermostats come with batteries so they can uh, store the, um, the program. Uh, in this case, with the add wire, what it does is it takes four wires and makes it five wires. So that way we could get rid of the batteries and now the thermostats are hardwired. So as long as there's power to the furnace, there's power to the thermostat, we don't need any batteries. So if you just want to set with the heat. Okay. There's a little bit of a time delay. So the red light comes on for heating. The coil is energized, closing a set of contacts, which, which is turning on the, the red lamp, which is uh, indicating for a furnace. So now let's uh, switch it over to cool. So at this point, uh, thermostat's calling for cooling. Uh, it sends power to the blower relay, and it also sends power to the contact to coil outside. The green light indicates the blower. Uh, the blue light indicates uh, the relay for the contact to coil outside. So then we shut it off. And then if the homeowner just wants to uh, run the, the blower by itself to recirculate the air or to take some of the cool air from the basement and recirculate it upstairs, to even that, that cooling or heating out. Uh, the fan switch, you just switch it from auto to on. And, and now uh, the blower is running. The boards, it makes it easy to see everything of how it flows from one side to the, to the end, from the beginning of the circuit to the end of the circuit. And then you're more easily able to apply that to working on a furnace or air conditioner. When someone's sitting at their desk, they feel a little bit more at ease. Sometimes when they get up in front of a furnace, they're, they're intimidated by everything else. So one of the things that we always kind of focus on when you're troubleshooting, um, just focus on what, what's necessary. Because there's a lot inside furnace and air conditioning today, but if uh, by putting it at the desk, you know, they're not looking at the inducer motor, the blower motor, all, all the other things. So it, it kind of gives them a chance to, this, they feel a little bit more comfortable in their area and they're working on a board. Um, so it seems to have worked out really well.